Hey everyone, you are watching Technology Well Fair. In this tutorial, I will show you everything step by step with real demonstrations how to downgrade iOS without losing any data. Either it is a signed iOS or unsigned IPS W or iOS. How do you do that without doing a jailbreak on any iPhones? We will see especially. Sometimes it's very useful, guys, when we would like to jailbreak or we would like to bypass or unlock either it is a screen passcode, time screen passcode, iDevice, mobile management lock, or lock to owner for cloud activation lock links or seem not valid. How do you do that? How do you downgrade? So, firstly, we will check it out tapping on a setting. Setting to, of course, we will have to come in a general. General to here. Yeah, is a software update when we will click here it has started to check it out if manually it is recommending then of course we will prefer to a downgrade now see here we don't have any opportunity to a downgrade if we go for beta update of to especially if we go for especially 26 now see here we can see here on this particular device we'll be back and now here is options too, especially when once upgrade options, we don't have opportunity to a downgrade. So in that conditions, if back, once again, we will go for, check it out, we don't have especially, sure. If we go for on here, to off and then, yeah. Automatically we have the scene already that, uh, yeah. It's not recommending, so in that condition, what we will do, guys, here. Yeah. We will go for an administration that is a 3U tool. Connect to your data cable, and the one, of course. We will click on a here to a smart options. A smart options to, of course, we will click on a refresh options. Here, we can see the this is a normal signed IPSW that is recommended. So, right now, 26.2 beta version, but here, we can come on a 26.1 so easily we will download and we will directly import it also and after importing of course we will select the space lamp the retain user data if you don't want to lose your any data so this one we will have to fix but for your kind information if you would like to come with the unsigned IPS to look tap on a firmware in a firmware 